as what's going on. If Pacquiao loses to Keith one time, Thurman, is his career over? A lot of you are asking me this. Depends on how he loses. If he gets completely destroyed um, and knocked out badly, then yes, I believe his career is over and I don't think he should fight again. Um, if, if he manages to lose a close points decision, do I think he should call it a day? No, because obviously that's a close controversial fight. Uh, so he shouldn't, you know, he shouldn't call it a day if it's close. Uh, that means he's still got a lot of fight left in him. Um, but again, it will come down to what does he want to prove now at the at his age? What would he want to prove if he does lose? I don't think personally, I don't think if he loses a close decision, he, he'll retire. But I do think if he gets beat up um, and loses a very wide points decision and you could clearly see he's not the, not the fighter that he was, then I think he'll call it a day. If he if he loses closely, then of course, you know, he shouldn't retire, in my opinion. Although many people will argue there's nothing for him to prove. And he's lost closely. He's lo he's lost closely against them. And but you know, where's he gonna go from here? Maybe a Khan fight, a big money fight. He could still get because obviously it will still be credible because Pacquiao would have lost a close decision. But again, I, it just it just comes down to how he loses. I don't think it's a case where we can really make that judgment if he loses or he'll retire. It depends on how the fight goes, how it plays out. Is it controversial? Is it convincing? And I think after the fight, we'll be in a better position to answer that question and as i've said this is a fight which is a fight which has a lot of you know answers we we require a lot of answers and we're going to get it on july 20th this is one of those type of fights where we will get our answers on july 20th so it's going to be intriguing it's going to be interesting but i i i think that i i think that we can only we're only going to be able to answer that question after the fight because I think right now to say that, oh, he should retire if he loses, no. It would be stupid to say that because it could be controversial. It could be stopped, you know, controversially. We don't know what may happen. There's a lot that could go on. If it's a controversial fight, maybe they'll do a rematch. So at the end of the day, we've got to think with a cool head that just to make brash and silly statements that if Pacquiao loses, that he will retire, that's... Or he should retire is stupid because we haven't seen the fight. We haven't seen how the fight's gone. We don't know how the fight's going to play out. We don't know how the fight's going to finish. Is it going to be controversial? What's going to happen during the fight? There's a lot that happens in a fight. You know, is Pacquiao looking the same? Is Thurman looking... You know, we, we got... There's a lot of things we've got to analyse and, uh, and uh, look before we can make a judgement. You know, I'm going to be more looking at what, how, what Pacquiao's got left. Um, if Pacquiao performs well against Thurman, then, you know, he shouldn't retire. Why? Because that shows he's still got a lot left. If he doesn't perform well against Thurman, then maybe he needs to think about hanging his gloves up. But again, I'll say this again. Whether Pacquiao should retire comes down to how he loses, if he loses, how he would lose against Thurman. Not he should retire if he loses a controversial split decision. Then he shouldn't retire because that's a controversial split decision which shows Pacquiao still got a lot left to offer. So, yeah, guys, it, I think that's what it's going to come down to. There's a lot of an answers we're going to get on July 20th, and th that will be another one. Leave your thoughts, guys. And, guys, remember to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.